The coffee is hot and black, and my robot is kicking up a storm on June the 13th, 2008. Friday the 13th, guys. <laughs> and I, uh, I built a psychedelic thing. <laughs> uh, last night I built a, a wonderful uh, Ferris wheel called the Light Up Ferris wheel with Kinex. And uh, to show it off I had to turn off the lights and uh, everything was lit, lit up uh, at Shark Run. It's a completely different animal at night. I had to go in the night production. Well in the early morning hours I got a, an email from one of my fans and he said that well, th th this was kind of like psychedelic. And I, I got to thinking about that. Uh, uh, I'll make it psychedelic. <laughs> you know how one thing leads to another. Uh, and so I decided I was going to expand on this idea. And, and, and how would I make uh, one of the wheels go slow in one direction. And then the other wheel go fast in the opposite direction. Uh, so there lies the, the, the problem. And uh, I uh, slept on it. No, I really didn't sleep on it. I don't sleep, guys. I stay up all night and all day and all night and all day and build my models and have fun. I'm having too much fun to sleep. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how to do this. And uh, later on the, tonight, in the dark, I'll turn the lights off again and everybody can get dizzy watching this thing. Uh, the main Ferris wheel came out of a light up 30 model building set. Uh, this is a wonderful set to own. And I have a three or four or five of them. I don't know how many I have, but I at least have two. And I decided I was going to build me up another wheel. And that's exactly what I did this morning. Uh, I built an, uh, another wheel uh, and I mounted it so that see how the it's curved in one direction and then the inner wheel is curved in the opposite direction. Uh, the, uh, I, I followed the instructions uh, very specifically and deliberately in the, in, in the, in the instruction manual, but then uh, I tore the Ferris wheel uh, apart and uh, decided to expand on my idea. Well last night I had the, the basic uh, motor figured out and I had the the motor shaft driving a small gear which drives a large gear. See how this shaft is going real fast, this one's going slower, and this one's going real slow. Well if you look, this yellow gear right here is connected to that slow shaft with that locking See that locking connector right there? So what that means is, uh, yeah, you kick up a storm. <laughs> that robot's punchy today. What that means is we got the shaft of the main uh, wheel going real slow. And if you look, this is connected to that shaft with a locking see how it's connected with a locking uh, connector so that forces this outside light up wheel to go slow now the trick is how do you make the motor drive another gear real fast, number one, and number two, how do you make it drive this this light up's wheel go real fast and still not be connected to the main shaft and yet drive around the main shaft? And that's that's uh, that's what I'm going to show you right now. This motor shaft, I have a, a small gear on the one side, but on the other side, I have it locked into a large yellow gear. See, I have a locking connector right there. What keeps that thing on? It, you know, it, it, it should come off. Well, 
when I want it to stay on like that, I, I didn't put a, uh, it on the outside. I didn't have enough room. I wanted this thing to, you know, ride tight. So I put one piece of tape, double-sided tape. I'll try to zoom in there. Right, uh, right there, you can barely see it, but I put the tape on, then I shoved this yellow connector on and over the tape, and that kind of, it, it prevents it from just flinging off, as it were. So that drives this other yellow gear, and what does that make it do? It makes it go in the opposite direction, guys, the opposite direction. So now the trick is, how do I get this to drive this? And I have developed a training aid. <laughs> um, Kenex came out with a new part. It's an angled uh, superstructures part. They, they developed it very specifically for the superstructures 50 kit. And you can see it right there. See, it's uh, an orange part. And it plugs right in uh, to a snowflake or whatever. But I used the snowflake here because what I wanted it to do, I wanted it to turn, force turn the yellow gear. See how when I push it right up against that yellow gear, the yellow gear has this protruding uh, thing, thing. Um, and when I push that snowflake right up against there, it's going to force that thing to turn. So when I turn this thing on, and zoom in, see how the yellow gear that's turning real fast now is turning the snowflakes at the same speed exactly because of those two orange connectors. And the effect is startling. I would encourage one and all, young and old alike, to steal this idea and use it in your own models. I'm a full disclosure builder, guys. I want encourage uh, and encourage every one of you to steal every idea that I've ever done and build them and just have fun with this stuff. It's just a lot of fun, and, and there's more uh, ideas then models can be built. Uh, so say, stay tuned guys and later on this evening I'm going to turn this thing on and, uh, and show you what it looks like in the dark. Bill and Red having too much fun on a Friday signing off to a very choppy kicky robot. <laughs> Have yourself a great day guys. We'll see you later alligator.